All right, guys, we have been honoring black history all month long, and today we have two very inspiring local black leaders with us. We have Traco Matthews and Michael Bowers. Traco is the chief program officer at, K at Cap K with experience in planning, aligning, directing, and implementing programs for the organization and low income clientele. He currently sits on over 20 boards, such as the Bakersfield Kern Religion, uh, Regional Homeless Collaborative, Kern Behavioral Health and Recovery Services Board for the 4th District, and the CSUB University. University Police Advisory Council, and that's just to name a few because the list of boards Traco sits on is literally miles long. And of course, next to him is Michael Bowers, who is newly appointed to the Planning Commission for the City of Bakersfield and currently the Director of Public Relations and Business Development for the Centric Healthcare. Michael is a progressive thinker who has served on many boards and community campaigns in Kern County with honors such as the Bakersfield Life Magazine, Top 20 Under 40 People to Watch, the California's Teachers Association Community Leadership Award, the African American Network of Kern County Rising Star Award and the Kern County Hispanic Chamber of Community of Community Leader Award and many more titles, honors, and awards. I feel like I could literally go on forever <laughs> talking about you guys. The list just goes on and on about ways that you guys are helping, you know, shed your light and brighten the community. So thank you so much for being on here with us today and thank you so much for everything you're doing in the community. Our pleasure. Pleasure to be here. Honestly, it's it's the pleasure is mine. I feel honored to be in your guys' <laughs> presence. We were talking a little bit earlier, but you know, obviously the whole purpose of this is to be celebrating Black History Month, to yeah. be bringing to attention the black excellence that is within yeah. our community. So I think yes. it's only right that I ask you guys first, starting off, yeah. what does Black History Month mean to you both? Yeah. Traco, you want to take it off? Absolutely. So to me, Black History is, um, like you said, a celebration. Um, and often we focus on the historical part of it. And that's great because I think those stories have power. Um, black history is American history and so our stories need to be included in the litany of American history. Uh, but it's also about black present. What's happening today, what's happening locally here in our community and also about black future. I think that that's a great way to kind of explain it because a lot of the time we do, we focus on black history mm -hmm. in the past, but there's a lot to learn from the past to be able to mold our present and the future. So, you know, Michael, what does Black History Month mean to you? Well, black history is, it's American history. Uh, black history is an opportunity to highlight those unsung heroes, the, the people that we forgot about, uh, the D. Slades in the communities, uh, the uh, Rick Shaws, the Traco Matthews, the Morgan Claytons. Uh, that's what black history uh, uh, means to me. It's an opportunity to tell the stories of those who have been forgotten. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good way to bring light to a subject that you know, should be celebrated year long. Like we were saying, it's American history. It's not just for these 28 days. It's yeah. all year yeah. long. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about what you guys do in the community. I know, understand that during the month of February, you guys are busy. You guys are at <laughs> schools. You guys are going out. So tell me a little bit about what you guys do at those schools. Well, uh, we had an opportunity to speak at Sequoia, and, and, and really we try to speak at uh, schools uh, especially targeted in uh, you know underserved areas, those uh, those mostly in financially disadvantaged communities, and we have an opportunity to uh, talk to children at those schools because I was a product of BCSD. I went to Bessie Owens, and I can remember as a kid having those speakers come in um, because sometimes kids can't be what they don't see, and a lot of times they're expected to play a role that they've never seen anybody play. So when you have these community leaders that come in and have an opportunity to speak to them uh, and say, if I can do it, you can do it. And so it's an opportunity for me to walk in. I'm a kid who grew up in the Cottonwood area, but later walked the halls of Congress. And it shows that that possibilities are happen, that it can happen, uh, that if you stay focused, if you work, in your, work hard in education, uh, those opportunities needs are attainable. You mentioned something that I think is so important, which is that representation matters, right? You yeah. can't be something if you don't see that. Mm -hmm. So to be that in our community, what does that mean to you guys? So to me, it means it's, it's about belonging. And what, what Michael shared about representation and being able to see folks, um, I think children need to understand um, that. Yeah, definitely. I think we represent in some ways, even our, our current roles and positions, our ancestors' wildest dreams, but also the wild, wildest dreams of some young children in our local community. Yeah. Um, I think of myself growing up, you know, poor and wishing that I could be in one of those roles or one of those positions. Michael talks about Congress. Just visiting Congress would have been, um, I would have seen that as potentially miraculous. Absolutely. And so that sense of belonging um, only comes when they see 
people who look like them getting to have those opportunities, getting to have a voice, getting to make decisions. And so it's critical that we get to represent and speak um, in a variety of different areas. Absolutely. Well, you guys, we are going to continue our conversation um, surrounding Black History Month as soon as we come back from this commercial break. Stay with us.